Amelia, I see. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Wow, you guys are a bunch of fun here. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. All righty, I should have said. Good afternoon, Mr. Thomas. I'm Felton Thomas, <laughs> director of the Cleveland Public Library. And on behalf of the Cleveland Public Library and our board of trustees, we want to welcome you to the People's University. Um, you might wonder why we would show that video besides it being funny. Well, only because it's funny. But we would like to show that video because this discussion, when we originally thought about it, we thought about a PowerPoint with all the, going through all the headlines and all the bad news that are going on. And so we want to look at today as the glass being half full, not half empty. So we look for this to be an uplifting conversation rather than a, a downturn for all of us to, to kind of look at this today. With that said, I want to kind of give you an overview of what we're going to do today and also kind of talk to you about what sparked this discussion. And this will be a discussion where we'll have five of the most important voices in, and distinguished voices in the library profession here in front of you today. We have some very distinguished, creative, innovative folks in the audience, and we want to use all of your combined brain power today to help start this discussion. This is a discussion that kind of started from a discussion I had with a, a group of library directors, and that conversation kind of moved into, well, when our money comes back, where will we be? <laughs> Somebody said, it. there you go, well, if it comes back, but we believe it, it will come back. The, the thought was, when we have all of these creative, innovative ideas that the libraries have been forced to do, what happens when we don't, aren't forced to do it any longer? Will we continue to be creative and innovative, or will we take a step back and go back to where we were before? And when we started talking about it, the, the thought was, well, maybe it ends up that some libraries continue to be creative and innovative, and they move forward, and some libraries stay where they are. And the chasm between the excellent libraries and those libraries that are that just also ran libraries gets larger and larger. So my thought was, let's have a discussion about this. And so that's where we're here today. But as we have said, this is more than just about the five voices that you're going to hear today. They will start the discussion. But what we're going to do now is start to hand out some note cards for you. And what we would like to do as you get these note cards, and we're going to pass them down, is to take them, and as you hear things that spark your mind about what's going on in your individual library systems, in your own individual libraries, there are 200 attendees here today, and there are 44 library entities represented here today. Many of you are wonderful five-star, Hennon-rated, great libraries, and, and many of you are wonderful librarians and staff members who can give us insight into things that we can use to start this discussion and keep this discussion going. So as you do that, you're going to write it down. Then, after the speakers speak, we're going to take 15 minutes for you to mill around, find a group of five to get into, hopefully somebody that you don't know. Try to stay away from people who are in your same library system or people who are your friends and mull into a group where you can discuss your ideas and hear their ideas. So not only are you starting to hear a different set of ideas from, um, from yours, but that are from the speakers, you're hearing it from the audience. And then we're going to take those ideas and you're going to pass them up, and that's going to spark the conversation and discussion that we have today. So that's what, where we're going to try to do today. I hope that you'll help us in doing that. My first, and so let me introduce the speakers, and I could be up here until the end of, you know, end of time going through everybody's uh, biographies. So I have decided to keep it short, and I hope that the speakers don't um, say, why didn't you say that? You didn't forget about that. But, you know, I put together what I think is a representative biography for everyone. First, we're going to start with Camila, because Camila has a PowerPoint that she's going to add from that, and uh, we don't want our speakers to have to kind of turn their head to try to see that. And she's going to start, and then I'll introduce everybody else to bring them up. Dr. Camila Ilire is Dean Emeritus at the University of New Mexico and Colorado State University. Camila received her doctorate in higher education administration from the University of Northern Colorado, and MLS from the University of Denver. Camila currently is president of ALA and ALA APA president. She is past president of the Association of College and Research Libraries 
and also past president of National Reforma. She has co-authored books on library services to the Latino communities, disaster planning and recovery, and emotional and intelligent leadership. A book on academic li librarianship she co-authored will be out this summer, so I think that would be a plug for you if you are an academic librarian, you might want to buy it. Uh, Camila was named by Hispanic Business Magazine several years ago as one of the 100 most influential Hispanics in the U.S. <laughs> And she is one of my professors, so I am happy to bring her up on stage. Please give a warm round of applause for Dr. Camila Valera. Thank you very much, Felton, and I'm very pleased to be here, and I'm pleased to be among some uh, esteemed colleagues, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, have you folks thinking about what we've had to say and, and hopefully some of it will be provocative and uh, we will be successful if we have you folks um, talking and thinking about this. What I chose to, to talk about today, can you hear me back there? Okay. What I chose to talk about today is the new normal and the idea of leading uh, during challenging or changing and challenging times because as I'm uh, going around the country, uh, it's the same story everywhere. Uh, you know, the economic downturn is such that it is it's driving uh, what's happening in our communities, in our states, and in our regions. And so, we <coughs> need some help here. Okay, I advanced it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to share my thoughts with you, and what I'm going to talk about is uh, this concept of the new normal and what it is. And I think that um, uh, Felton alluded to this a little bit, but I'm going to go into it a little bit more uh, specifically. Yes. Oh, this way? Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to talk about some challenges that we're all experiencing. Um, and a little bit about dealing with change because that's what this is all leading to. Um, Roger McNamee was, uh, is a venture capitalist in Silicon Valley and he wrote this book and this is where the term new normal came about.